Hello friends, I am Nayesh Sheikh from blogtoot.com and welcome to another amazing video. Now today in this video, I'll teach you how to create millions of beautiful and professional websites step by step. You heard it right guys, millions of websites. And to create these websites, you don't need any qualification or any technical knowledge. In fact, a 9 year old kid can follow these steps and create his or her first website. Now obviously everything is mobile friendly and tablet friendly. The most amazing thing about this video tutorial is that we'll be using only the best and free resources. We'll use the best and free available theme which is the Ocean WP which has a lot of customization options. We'll use Breezy, a free page builder that will allow us to design the website as we want. Earlier to create a website, you must know basic coding languages like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But today, everything is done by simple drag and drop. You have sections and different modules available. You can use them to create unique and beautiful pages. You can simply import a section and do the changes accordingly. Now let me show you a demo website I have created using these resources. So this is the website that I have created using those free resources. Now as you can see at the top we have a header, we have the logo over here. I'll show you how you can create this logo. It's free, it's easy. Then at the right hand side we have a beautiful menu. Then this is our first section. Everything is divided into different sections. If you see the complete website, this is one section, this is another, then another section. Okay, so everything is divided into different sections. This is our first section. This is a header section. We have a title, some description and two call to action buttons. And all these sections, we don't actually have to create them. We can simply import a section and do all the changes accordingly. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. For example, when I go at the bottom, suppose I want to add a new section at the bottom. I simply click on this plus button. I select whatever oh, section that I want to create. If I want, I can, you know, sort everything by different category. For example, if I want a header category, I can select header. I'll get all the blocks, all the sections for header. Now I can select any one. For example, I can select this one. I simply select it and click on this plus button. Now, as you can see, when I scroll down, we have this beautiful sections, which is automatically ready for us. We don't have to do anything. Now we can just do all the changes. Suppose we want to change the uh, text over here. It says great styling for headers and here images. So suppose I want to change this thing. I want to type in my name. I simply just do it on live website. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to go in the back end and do all the changes. Now here also you can change the text uh, accordingly just uh, like I have shown you. You can change the padding. For example, if I want to increase the padding, the gap between all those things, I can increase or decrease it just like this using my mouse. This is an icon used over here. If you want to change the color or the icon, you simply click on this. You get few icons or few options over here. Now, when you want to change the icon, you simply click on over here and you can click and select any icon. Suppose I want maybe this icon, this book icon. So I can select this. Now you'll see this book icon showing up over here. If you want to change the color, you simply click on over here. You can change the icon color, the background color. Suppose I want to make the background color as dark blue. So I can select this thing. And when I hover over this, as you can see, this is what happens. So I can also change the hover effect. I simply click on over here, hover effect. And maybe when I hover over this button, I want the background to be white so I can on maybe gray so I can select this thing. Now as you can see when I hover this button, this is what happens. So it is that easy to create this website. This was just a very short demo of how it is easy it is to create it. Now let me delete it. And if you want to delete it, it's, it's really simple. You simply click on that button and click on that dustbin icon. Okay, so that is how easy it is to create a website. Now let's see the demo website that we'll be creating in this video. And obviously this is just one website. You can use those different blocks and you can create any website according to you. I'll show you everything. Don't worry. First, let's see this website. So we have seen this. This is the header section. After that, we have our services section. If you see carefully, we have used the same font throughout the website, a very, very beautiful font. Then we have these different icons uh, shown up over here. We have different colors. You will see uh, there's an image in the background. We can see, I'll show you how you can put that image. 
how you can change that you can even put a video or a map in the background it's all up to you then the third section we have partners and clients we have three different partners shown up over here we also have a pricing section then we have the contact us section then we have a call to action section then at the bottom we have a footer so i have tried to include everything so that in one single video i can teach you the most for example as you can see i have included buttons text icons so that i can show you how you can do all those things i have included these images this pricing tables this form and uh, you know call to action and a footer just in one single page we have included so many different options so that i can explain you in detail how you can change these options now this is the contact us page so as you can see this is how our contact us page looks like most of the things look very similar you have your title some description you have a contact form over here we have designed it in a very beautiful way then we have some contact details icons used on all your information over here then at the bottom we have this beautiful map as you can see you can increase or decrease the size you don't need any google api uh, for to use this map over here that is a great thing then again at the bottom we have the same footer then after that let's see how the about us page looks like so this is how our about us page looks like we have a title description similar style we have three different uh, sections over here focus group and all those things so basically you can put uh, something about yourself over here like a uh, uh, number of people that work with you number of projects that you have done and all those things then we have our story section you can type something about yourself you can put in your or showcase your team members over here then again we have the same footer over here so this is a very short uh, demo of what we are going to create in this website now if you like the design if you want to learn something new if you want to create website very easily and very fast because earlier it was really difficult to create a website now it's super easy and super fast so if you want to do that then stay tuned all right guys so to create any kind of website whether it be a simple business website an e-commerce website or any kind of website we need two basic things a domain name and a hosting account a domain name is nothing but the web address or the url of your website for example as you can see this is my domain name google.com facebook.com youtube.com all those things are different domain names so we need a domain name and we also need a hosting account now a hosting account is nothing uh, but a place wherein all your website file and folders are saved for example if you see this page uh, if you see this website we have three different pages we have all those different uh, images, icons, everything shown over here. So the entire data of our website is saved somewhere in a computer which is running 24 seven. So that is basically what a hosting is. Now in this video, I'll show you how you can get the most uh, reliable, the fastest hosting there on the planet. Okay, so that is the best hosting provider that I have seen in my uh, experience and I'll show you how you can get that. I'll also show you how you can get a free domain name. So what you have to do, you, have, you simply have to open a new tab and type in blogdoodcom slash TMD. Now this link is also given in the video description below. So you can simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this page. All right guys, so this is actually cloud hosting. So we are not using the regular web hosting. We are using cloud hosting in this uh, example. Obviously, you can use web hosting, the shared hosting that is also good. You can simply go with that if you want. If you want to go with web hosting, you can simply open this link in a new tab. You will see this shared hosting plan. This plan starts at $2.95 per month. So you can select anything around $3 per month. If you want to go with cloud hosting, it will cost you around $6 per month. Now for these kind of website, this is just a simple and normal website. You don't actually need a cloud hosting. Cloud hosting is basically recommended for heavy duty websites like e-commerce or BuddyPress or community websites, wherein a lot of things are happening in the background. And this is just a simple website. So for this, you can simply go with web hosting or shared hosting. So you can click on this and here we have three different plans, starter, business and enterprise. Now starter is the best seller. This is the best value and this is the highest thing that you can go. Now, if you want to go with enterprise, don't uh, go with the shared hosting enterprise. 
go with the cloud hosting enterprise it will cost you same and instead of this you'll go you'll get cloud hosting so that is a better plan now if you want to create only one website then you can go with starter cloud you can see all these awesome features the most amazing thing is that these guys these guys are using ssd space which means that these guys are using a very fast uh, uh, data drive if you don't know the difference between hdd and ssd you can uh, you know just simply type on google hdd versus web uh, hdd versus ssd web hosting you will get all those results you can uh, read about this you can see the difference you can click on images to see the difference between these different plans so you can see there are three different criteria over here speed iops and latency and this orange bar is the regular hdd this is the ssd the green bar as you can see speed of ssd is way more higher than the hdd and it, at the bottom it says higher is better then we have iops again it says higher is better so this one as you can see the difference is around 100 times then we have latency now this time it says lower is better so you can see the difference is again really amazing difference okay so basically ssd is way more better than the regular hdd then you get unlimited bandwidth one website hosted here you have unlimited website hosted in these two plans here you have one website hosted you get a free domain premium support free cpanel ng inx web server basic caching and ssl certificate which you see over here this is the ssl certificate so you get free ssl certificate as well now if you're creating a website for the first time i would recommend you to go with the starter cloud here you get all the uh, features but you just can host one website okay so today you want to create a one website tomorrow if you want to create another website you can simply ask tmd they will upgrade uh, upgrade your account from starter to business or whatever plan you like okay so one, after that you can if you want to create another website or more than one website you can upgrade your plan to business plan uh, business plan and you can use these features okay but for those of you guys who are just starting to create their first website i would recommend you to stay with starter cloud if you want to create multiple websites you can go with business cloud it's all up to you so i'm going with starter cloud i'll click on this button get started now all right so here you have to enter the domain name that you want for free so just type in your domain name over here okay and you can also select the domain name extension if you want .com dot .net .org or any country specific website or domain name like .co for canada .in for india and all those things you can select those as well but i would recommend you for most of you guys to stay with .com so stay with .com and click on proceed then you will see this screen here at the top we have to fill in your basic information like your first name last name your email address phone number and all those things then you have to enter the payment information if you want to make payment through credit card or debit card you can select the type of card and card card number expiry date and so on you can also pay through paypal if you want then after that we have purchase information now this is really important here you have to select the data center location okay you have to select the one which says nearest to you for example for me singapore says nearest to you so i'll select singapore then you have to select the period as you can see by default 12 month uh, period is selected so i also recommend you to go with 12 month if you go with the one month period that will cost you four dollars extra per month so that is not recommended i would suggest you to go with the 12 month plan now by default uh, this thing is tick mark domain privacy i also recommend it to be tick mark because it will protect your privacy your identity no one can see who is the person who has registered the website and all those details okay then at the bottom you'll see promo code here you have to enter nayar 7 n a w y a r and numeric 7 now click on apply now as you can see this promo code will give you seven dollars uh, extra discount on your purchase now seven dollars is at present the highest discount that tmd offers on these plans so you're getting the highest discount possible so once you're done with all these steps simply tick mark over here i agree to do a tmd terms of service and click on checkout once you click on that checkout button you'll receive a mail from tmd hosting now this is a very important mail because it has some really crucial information about your website 
For example, it has your FTP C panel, username, password, your server IP, your name servers, and all this different information over here. Okay, so make sure you save this information somewhere. If you want, you can take a print out of this. If you have multiple email addresses, you can simply forward this to those different email addresses. Just make sure all this information is safe and secure. Now at the bottom, you'll see a link which says control panel. Simply open this link in a new tab. Now what you have to do, you have to copy the FTP username, uh, FTP C panel username and password from here. Paste it over here and click on login. All right, guys. So this is the C panel. Okay. From here, we can control a lot of things. First of all, we have to go at the bottom. You'll see Softaculous app installer. Click on that. Then you'll see different so uh, softwares that you can install on your website. Now we want to install WordPress. So we can click on over here. Then we can click on this install now button and we can select the pr protocol. Select the HTTPS one, the one with the extension S. So, so that we can get this SSL certificate, as you can see, all those SSL certificates are HTTPS. Okay. With the extension S over here. So select that one after that, select the domain name where you want to install your WordPress on. So I'm selecting my domain name. If you're creating this for the first time, obviously you will see only one domain name over there. Now, after that, make sure you delete this WP, which is already typed in, in the indirectory thing and make sure this in uh, this field is empty. Now in the site settings, you can give a site name and description to your website. So basically you can type in the name of your website or your business. I'll type in Brizzy over here. Okay. That will be more better. So I'll I'm typing in Brizzy tutorial and in the description, I'm typing in by Nayar Sheikh. So Brizzy tutorial by Nayar Sheikh. Then we have a admin account uh, information and you have to change this admin and password from here. This is the default one. You have to you make sure you change it. Okay. So I'm changing this to Naya Sheikh and I am putting my own password over here. Okay. Now also make sure to change the email address from here, put in your own email address, then go at the bottom and click on the install button. So you can see the progress over here. WordPress is getting installed on your website and now it is installed within four, five seconds. You get two different domain names over here. The first one is basically your website URL. The second one is your control panel or your dashboard or your administrative URL. Now let's open the second one and the first one, both in two different uh, windows. Now this is how your website is looking at present. And obviously I'll show you how you can change this thing into this thing. Then after that, this is the dashboard. Your, this is the place from where you'll control your website. This is the place from where you can control, uh, you can create different pages, different posts, different products. If you're creating an e-commerce website, you can delete all those things, whatever you want to do. This is the place from where you will control everything. So whenever you want to come to this page, your dashboard page, your control page, you simply type in your website name, then put in a forward slash WP hyphen admin. So first let me delete all those things, all those different uh, tabs. Now the first thing that we have to do, we, if you see over here at the left hand side, you have few menus. If you want to create a post, you have our post, click on add new. If you want to see all the posts, you click, you click on all posts. If you want to create a category, you click on category, all those things. Okay. So there are a few options at the left hand side. The first option that we have to uh, go to is first we have to do some general settings. Okay. So let me show you how you can do that. So first how our settings and click on general. So we are seeing the general settings now. Now here uh, we have already seen how to change the site title and tagline. But if you, if you haven't changed it, you can change it from here. Then you, you can also change your email address and all those things from here. You can change the date format and the time and when your week starts. So all the basic information are already present over here. The main thing that we have to do over here is the permalink settings. So click on permalinks. By default, this one is selected day and name. You have to select this one post name. So select this one, go at the bottom, click on save changes. Now again, come to your dashboard. Once you're done with those basic settings, now it's time to change the theme. So what do you do? You have our appearances from the left hand side and click on themes. 
And for those of you guys who are new to WordPress, theme is nothing but the design of the website. For example, by default 2017 theme is installed and as you can see, we have a snapshot a thumbnail and you can see this is the design of the theme. And if you go to your website, this is exactly uh, looking like uh, the theme that we have installed. And if you want to make your website like this, you install this theme. If you want to make your website like this, you install this theme. Now all these are really bad themes. These are the default themes created by WordPress, but these are really bad. So we don't want to use this. Now what I'll do is I'll click on add new. Now here you will get all the free themes. These are all free themes that you can install. Now I want the best free theme. These are themes, they are free, but I want the best one. So what I'll do is I'll search for Ocean WP. Now this is undoubtedly the best WordPress free theme available in the market today. So you'll get this option. However, this click on install. Now click on activate once it's installed. All right, so we have successfully installed and activated the theme. Now you'll see this option uh, begin installing plugins. By default, it will ask you to install few plugins. So simply click on this link, begin installing plugins and tick mark over here, but just untick this one, Elementor. Okay, Elementor is a beautiful and very famous, very popular page builder. It's an awesome page builder. But today in this video, in this video tutorial, I'm using Brizzy. So everyone now knows how to use Elementor and what is all those things. But I want to show you something else. I think Brizzy is also a very, very good one. So today in this video, we'll be using Brizzy instead of Elementor. So select these two ocean demo import ocean extra go to bulk action select install and click on apply all right guys so both the plugins are successfully installed and activated now you can simply go back to your dashboard again now you'll always keep on getting this uh, different notices so just uh, click on this dismiss this notice so we have our domain name with us now it's time to install the plugin so simply click on this plugins by default, you will see there are few plugins, uh, two plugins at present, which are already installed. These are really good plugins, but at present we don't need them. So I can simply tick mark both these plugins and I can delete them. Go to bulk action and select delete. Click on apply to delete both the theme or both the plugins. And again, for those of you guys who are new to WordPress, plugin is nothing but a way to extend the functionality of your WordPress website. Now, this is a very good example. For example, now we are going to install a new plugin, which is Brizzy. Now, by default, this page builder plugin, page builders functionality is not available in WordPress till now. So what we do, we use a plugin to you to add that function in the WordPress website. Another very good example can be WooCommerce. By default, uh, the e-commerce functionality is not available with WordPress, which means that you cannot create an e-commerce website with WordPress. Now, if you want to create an e-commerce website with WordPress, you need to install a plugin, okay, which is called WooCommerce. It's a free plugin, awesome plugin. Now that plugin will add all the e-commerce functionalities to your WordPress website. So that is basically what a plugin is. Now we need to install the plugin, the free plugin, the page builder plugin. So click on this uh, add new button at the top. Now let's search for Brizzy, B-R-I-Z-Y. You can see this one, Brizzy page builder. Uh, just click on install now. Click on activate. All right, guys. So we have Brizzy install and activate. Let's dismiss this notice. Okay, so let's come back to your website. Let's refresh it. Okay, so this is how our website is looking at present because we have changed the design of the website. So this is what it is looking. Now let's create a home page. Let us uh, do the main thing. So this is where the fun starts. This is where we'll start creating and designing the website. And believe me, guys, it's a really awesome you know feeling to create your own website and use all these things and you can design really beautiful websites. I'll show you everything. Don't worry. So come back to your dashboard, hover pages from the left hand side and click on add new to add a new page. Let's give it a name uh, of home. Okay, you can, give, I mean, uh, you can give any name you want. So I'm giving it a title or a name of home and I'll simply click on publish. All right, now as you can see, page is created. Now we can view this page in a new tab. Now this is how the page is looking at present. 
Now we don't want something like this because if you see the demo home page, we don't have anything like that. We don't have this uh, awful sidebar. We don't have this title. We, uh, we have this menu, but the menu is transparent. As you can see, there is no background to the menu. It's a transparent menu. So we need a transparent menu. Also, we don't have this footer at the bottom. We have a different footer as you can see in the demo website. So let's do all those settings. Now this is what makes Ocean WP the best uh, theme, uh, free theme available in the market because you can do all those things over here. Now first, let us change the content layout to 100% full width. Let's go to header. Let's change the header style to transparent. Then let's go to title. Let's disable the title. Then let's go to footer and also disable the footer and copyright uh, uh, area. Now again, let's update this page. Let's again view this page in a new tab. Let's see the changes. Now as you can see, we have a beautiful blank page in front of us. Now it is very easy to start creating the website. So to start designing the website or your pages, you simply click on this button, edit with Brizzy. Okay guys, so this is the page that you'll see, a uh, very simple and nice uh, user interface. You have some buttons over here and few buttons over here. Okay, so first is the plus button. This is the button to add a new element. We'll see these buttons later on when we create the contact us and the about us page. Then we have this button. This is to reorder blocks. I'll show you what that is. Then we have styling option. I'll also show you what these things are. Then we have this button over here, which will allow us to see how our website is looking on a mobile phone and on a desktop. So I'll also show you these things. Then we have this button at the bottom and this will allow us to do some basic settings. So I'll show you everything. Now, whenever we do some changes, we simply click on this update button to update the changes. Now to start creating the website, what do you do? You simply click on this plus button. Now, as you can see, we get all those different blocks, those awesome and really beautiful blocks. So first thing we need a block for header. So let me search for header blocks. Okay. So I can select the header category. I'll see all the blocks related to header. Now we have so many different and beautiful blocks available over here. You can use any one of these. I think this one is looking beautiful, very simple and beautiful, just like the one we have Oh, uh, you know, used in our website. So I think we should go with this one. You can go with any one of these. I'm just trying to create our same website, just like the demo website. Okay. So I'll use this block. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, we have, we get a complete section with just one click. We have a button, beautiful text, a background image. Everything is done. The perfect amount of space that should be there on your website. The perfect amount of space between the letters, the style of the font, everything is just amazing. Okay. So with just one click, you have this awesome thing in front of you. Now what we have to do first thing, we have to change the title and we have to put in this title or whatever title you like. So it's really easy to do. You simply click on over here. Whenever you click on any different modules, any different elements, you'll get these options at the top. Now, these are the options related to this module. Now, what I'll do is I'll select everything. I'll delete it and I'll paste in my, uh, my text, whatever the text, I, I think it was the same text, <laughs> okay, whatever, it's just whatever text you want to add, you simply type in or paste in that. Now it's time to design this text. Okay. As you can see, we have used a very beautiful font over here. The color is a bit different. Okay. The size is different. So what I'll do is I'll click on this T to change the typography. Now we have uh, these six different fonts available, but I don't see the font uh, which I have used over here. Now that is what the great thing comes in. We can use different fonts. In fact, we can install different fonts and we can use them and we don't have to do those things again and again. What I mean by that is this is the default font. Now when you add a new block over here. For example, when I want to add this block, you'll see this is the default font for this one. I can change this default font uh, to whatever I like. Now I don't have to go and change the font style again and again. It will save a lot of time. 
Let me show you what I mean by that. So first, let me click on this, go to typography. Then here you'll see heading one and besides that you have this gear icon. Click on this gear icon. Now let me add a new font. If you want to install any font, what you can do, you can first see that font. So go to fonts.google.com. Now here, as you can see that hundreds of different fonts, all these things are free fonts. You can use any font that you want. Okay. So you can search for that font. You can simply see the name here at the top, bitter, indie flower. Okay. Oxygen, any font you want, you can use this font. Okay. So what I'll do is uh, let me search for one font. So I, where is the search button? Here it is. Let me search for dancing. Uh, what is, what is that? I think it was called, uh, okay. I don't remember it. Okay. Yeah, it was dancing script. So as you can see, this is the font that I have used. So you can see the title over here, dancing script. I can type in the same title over here. Now, as you can see, when I type in, I get this option dancing script. I can select this one and click on this plus button. Now what this will do is it will install this font from Google fonts. Okay. And it is actually installed. Okay. Let us see. Let's again, click on this, click on this T icon. Now, as you can see, we have one more font option over here. Let me click on this. Now, as you can see, we have this beautiful font showing up over here. Let's change this color to, okay, this color, uh, the dark blue color, which is looking amazing. Now, if you want, let's first delete this section. Now, you can, if you want, you can change the color of this text. You can change the button and everything. Okay, so let me show you how you can do that. So suppose if you want to make some changes to this button, you do the same thing. You simply click on this button. You'll get all these options. Now, if you want to change the text here, it says get started with pro. Now, instead of this, if you want, you can uh, just type something else like let's connect. Okay. So I'm just typing in like, let's connect. Okay. You can type anything you want. You can also use an icon with this, uh, this win on this button. So if you want to do that, you simply click on this first button, uh, this link, you have this button option. First of all, you see some button option. Now let me do it like this. Okay. Now, as you can see, you have this option set top. Now, if you want to increase the width of the button, you simply drag and uh, drag it just like this. If you want to increase the height of the button, you do it like this. Okay. So if you want to go back to the changes, just like any other software, you simply click on this control Z button. Okay. It will uh, go back to this uh, settings. Okay. The previous settings. Now there are three pre-made designs for the button. Okay. The uh, pre-made fills, the first and second and the third one here, the first one is used here. The second one is used. If you select the second one, as you can see, the style has changed. Okay. Now if I select the second first one, this is the style for this one. Then you can change the corners. As you can see here, we have circular corners. If you want to have just like the regular corners, you can select this one. Okay. Let me select this. Okay. I think we should do. Okay. Fine. Here I have to change this thing. Okay. So if I change this thing, you can see now this is a simple rectangular button, but if you want to change that, you simply click on this and you'll have this circular thing. You can change the amount of border you want, amount of spacing you want. If you want to add an icon, you click on this icon, click on this plus button to add any icon that you want. Now select that icon from here. So let's select uh, maybe you can select any icon. Obviously, let me select this icon. Okay. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, this icon is showing up over here. So this is how easy it is to do this thing. Now again, you can change the uh, size of the icon. As you can see, you know, you can change the size of the icon, the alignment, whether you want left align, right align, the space between uh, the text and the icon and all those things. If you want to change the text of the, uh, I, uh, the text style or the typography of this button, you click on this T and you have all the similar option that we have seen in the title. So you can change the font. If you want the font to be this, you can change it. If you want the font, whatever you font you like, you can, you know, add those options. If you want to change the color, we have the same option, background color, text color, border color. And if you want to change the hover color, you click on this button, hover color. Okay. So when I hover this, it turns into 
a blue uh, button so suppose I want to make it black button when I hover this now as you can see when I hover this button it turns black so this is how easy it is to create and do all these changes now let me show you how we can change the design of the background if you see there is an image in the background and on top of that image there is an overlay okay a white color overlay I guess so let me show you how you can change that so if you want to make changes to the section to this entire section you simply click on this button this black button at the top when you click on this button you get some more options over here okay so what I'll do I'll click on this background and you'll see this image over here you can change which portion do you want to show on the uh, here but if you see at this we haven't used any image in the background so I'll show you how you can delete this if you want you can you know change the color of the overlay for example you can change the make it blue overlay now as you can see this is how it looks we can change it into red or pink overlay okay so as you can see this is how it is looking so we also have a background image and on top of that we have an overlay which looks really nice if you want to change the background image if you want if you want to delete that you simply cut it from here now you have only the background color if you want to add a video in the background you can just add the url of the video you can select the quality that you want 1080p 720p and you can also add a map in the background okay so you can simply type in the uh, address of the map okay as, as you can see we already have a map in the background wall street is typed over here and you have this wall street map at, uh, at the bottom okay so this is how easy it is to do all these changes now I don't want anything in the background I simply want this color okay so whatever color you like you can add that color okay now once you are done with uh, doing any change you can simply click on this update button and if you want to see the changes you can click on this i button this preview button it will show you the changes that you have made now as you can see this is how your website is looking and now if you see we don't see the header okay so let's uh, fix that thing so we can click on this and uh, we have to change the page template to default okay it will reload this page now as you can see we have this uh, header at the top I'll change the design of the header at the end of this video okay so we have simply and easily created the first section let's see what is the second section and let's see how we can create this so this is our second section so let me add a new section okay so that was the feature section so I can go to features and I can see all those different section styles available over here and let me search for the one which I have used in my demo website okay so I can search for that let me search for that one I think it was at the top let's go at the top I think this is the one that I have used so I can simply click on this now, as you can see we have that thing uh, in the section the background image we have this button now if I don't want this button I can simply click on this and delete it okay I can delete this space I can delete all this text okay so I have this thing over here and instead of beautiful world I want to say our services okay so this is how it is done and again I have to change the style of the font and so on so what I'll do is I don't want to do that again and again so I'll simply click on over here styling option and I'll select the heading one this is the heading one I'll select it now I want to make the heading one default to dancing script so I select that and as you can see this is changed to dancing script now whenever you install or add any new section any further section the dancing script will be applied for heading one okay so you can change the size the line height weight everything for the for this one okay if you want you can make it bold it will look something like this I think bold is looking better all right so we have this section then if you want to change this icon for this one you can simply suppose if you want if you want only three different uh, services to be shown if you don't want the fourth one you can delete this column so if you hover this you will see this uh, blue option you can click on this delete it now we have only two or if you now if you have only three options over here 
Now to change this icon, it's really easy. You simply click on this, select the first option and do all the steps that we have already seen. Okay. Now there are two types of icons outline and this one. Okay. So I, this time I want to add, or maybe I just want the outline one. And I think this butterfly one is looking amazing. So we simply select that butterfly icon and you can see that icon over here. You can change the uh, uh, size as you can see by default 54 is there. We have some uh, predefined size like 32, 48, 64. Okay. If you want uh, for to see to have a, you know, custom size, you can just adjust it from here. If you want to change the color or the background, you can do it like this. As you can see now, the style of uh, this icon is changed. Okay. So you can do all those change all these things from here. Okay. Then we have this text again. You can change the text from here. I'll just want to type in my name. Okay. Then you can change this text from here and you can do all those settings. Now I want to change the background color to some different color. So again, I do this thing. I go to background and I select some different overlay color. Okay. All right. Just like this. I think this one is looking better. So try to use these kind of colors. Okay. This really beautifies the website, this pink, this blue, and you can don't select these type of blue, like, you know, the predefined blue when you're using overlay, just follow my cursor. Use these section. Okay. As you can see the top section and over here, just somewhere over here, the light color. Okay. So as you can see, this is looking much, much better. When you select this blue uh, color in the background, you can change the icon and make it dark blue that would look much better now as you can see this is looking just way more better let me do it for all these icons okay now as you can see this is looking way more better when you have a lighter color in the uh, background make all the content dark color when you have the dark color in the background make all the content light color that will really make your website very beautiful so with this, we have also done with the second section. Now let's see what we have in the third section. In the third section, we have this team members. So it says partners and clients. So let's add a new block. Let's search for team. So here we have team and uh, let's see what we have used. I think uh, we have used this one, I guess, maybe. I think, uh, or maybe let me see. Actually, you can use any one, but I just want to use the same that I have used in the demo website. Okay. So it is looking something like this. I think we have used this one. So I let me select this one. Click on this plus button. Okay. I have it over here. Let's scroll down. Now this is the section. Now if you see this thing is not changed. I said in earlier that it will already automatically change to this style. Now that is because this is not H1. This is heading two H2. Now, if you want to change this to heading one, you can simply select instead of heading two, select heading one. And as soon as you select heading one, it will change. Now I don't want this text. So I'll delete it. I don't want all these uh, different icons. So I'll delete them very quickly. Okay, guys. So we have this section. Now, if you see, we have a beautiful you know, very nice background color, dark background color this time. So we have a light section, dark section, light section, dark section. You could, you can have all those things. You could don't use only light sections, light backgrounds, make sure to use few light sections and few dark sections that will make your website more better. So let's change the background color to something dark like this. Okay. Now again, you can change the color from here. You can select uh, whatever type of color you want to use. Okay. Or if you want the exact same color that I have used in my website, what you can do, you can simply inspect right click over here, right click anywhere and select inspect and search for that color at the left hand side. Now, many times you won't find that color. So what you can do, it's really easy. Just follow my cursors and see what I do. I simply click on over here. Now you can see, you will see this option. Now I type in color. Now just press tab. Okay. And select any color you want. So I'm selecting aqua now click anywhere else. I'm clicking here. Now you will see this color showing up over here. Now click on that color. You will see this uh, pencil uh, thing or this speaker is already selected. Now don't do anything. 
simply go anywhere or whatever color you like so i like this color so i click on over here i'll get this color code so i simply copy it from here go to my website and instead of this color i'll paste in this color okay all right let me do it properly all right now as you can see i have the exact same color on my website so that is how it is done now as i said you earlier when you select a darker background you make all the content light so we have this title let's select this change the color to white and this is looking amazing if you want you can increase some header as uh, some gap at top and bottom really easy to do if you want you can change this thing also to white okay as you can see it's really easy it's just way more better than those coding things okay so i can simply update this page and let me very quickly create all the other sections okay because everything is easy then we have this section which is uh, the pricing table so again very easy to do simply click on this plus button go to category and this time we want the pricing category and i have used this one so i'll select this one all right so let me scroll down so this is the one as you can see we have we already have the title we have this uh, option so suppose if you have a different pricing strategy if you have one for ten dollars and the other pricing for twenty dollars or you can change it from here if you want to change the color or uh, the text from here uh, okay so you can do it from here you can select the button whenever you want to redirect this button to somewhere else you select this button click on this link and put in the url over here okay so you this applies to all the buttons now again you can change the uh, name of the uh, name of the package so instead of ultra suppose this is the basic package so i type basic instead of this premium it is the pro package so i select pro okay so it's really easy to do the styling is done you just have to change the content okay so all the styling all the thing is done simply change it to whatever you like now let me add something like this uh, we have a image in the background and that is a fixed image as you can see and on top of that image we have this beautiful color of overlay now as you can see when i scroll up and down i have that image fixed okay so let's see how we can do that so come over here first let's add a background image so go to media library and select any image i am selecting this one select it click on select okay you can see the background image over here now instead of this parallax effect select fixed now as you can see we have the same effect when i scroll up and down we have the image in the background let's change the overlay color to something like this okay the one which is used okay let us again do the same thing right click over here inspect element type in color over here press tab select any color click somewhere else click on this color click anywhere to see the color code copy this color code from here and come over here select everything paste it now as you can see we have the exact same color code over here okay now let me click on update and after this we have this section okay we have a form we have this icons over here so let me add this section click on this plus button and that was a form so i'll select forms and this is the one that we have used so i'll select click i'll just click on this plus button okay we have this beautiful thing we have this uh, different things over here so instead of this address just put in your address over here okay so i'm just typing mumbai one okay instead of this email address put in your email address whatever it is so i'm typing my email address or i'm just typing mail at mail.com just put in your phone number from here okay so you can see all those things are looking amazing let me delete the image in the background all right now the last section uh, that we or maybe the second last section is this one call to action button and we also have four different uh, icons uh, which are used over here which really looks amazing so i'll come over here i'll select call to action and let me search for that one this is the one let's click on plus now let's scroll down you have this section okay we just have to do some changes in the background color rest everything is fine okay let me select a darker shade like this okay looking better then we have the last section the footer section 
So I'll click on this plus button, select footer from here, here it is. And I think we have used this one. So I'll click on this plus button. Now this is a light section footer. I like dark footers. Most of the website you might have seen, it uses a dark footer. So let's make this footer dark. So first of all, what we will have to do, we have to make uh, all these things light, okay? All these things, uh, we'll have to make it light. We'll have to change the color of all these things because we are going to make it a uh, darker. For let me show you. Let's first change the background color to this one, okay? Or maybe some more darker color like this. All right, this is looking better, okay? Now let's change uh, everything to a uh, lighter color. So I'll simply delete this thing first. Okay, then if you want to change this color, let's make it white. Then we have this icons. If you want to make it white, it's really easy. Select this icon. We have seen how to do that. Select it, make it white. Okay, now as you can see, and let's make the background white as well, or maybe the border. Now, as you can see, this is how it is looking. So you can do it for all these different icons. Now here we have to add something. Okay. So you can uh, just put in your logo over here. Now let me show you how you can create a logo very quickly. So just go to open a new tab and go to logomaker.com, L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R.com. It's really, really easy to create a logo. So what I'll do is I'll simply click on text. I'll type in whatever I like, like I can just simply type in logo. I can type anything over here. I'm typing circle over here. Now I'll change this style. Okay, instead of simple, I want some fancy style. So I'll select fancy and cursive. And instead of this, I'll select grand hotel. Okay, mm, I'll change the color to darker color. Okay, I'm creating this logo for this section. Okay, over here at the top. If you want uh, to create this for the bottom section, like for here, make it white. Okay, so you can simply make it white. You can change the size of this and you can simply, okay, let me first change it to some different color. Okay, so you can change the size of this one. And whenever you want to crop this, you simply click on this button, this uh, icon at the bottom crop and you can crop this section. All right. And uh, select something which is uh, something like this, like 300 width and height should be around 100. So one by three ratio of one by three. So let me select something like this. So as you can see, the width is around 304, the height is around 110. So one by three ratio, or three by one ratio, you can select that, okay? So once you're done with this, simply click on this save logo, click on download high resolution uh, files. Oh, sorry, not, not that one, click on this download and agree to uh, give credit okay you'll see your logo downloaded now let me also make it white uh, let me change this text to white okay let me change this color to white okay now let's again click on the save button now this will be good for the bottom one for footer okay let us download this so we have both the icons over here now let me do one thing let me go at the bottom click on this plus button okay and we want to add an image so i'll just select this image okay drag somewhere else like here then let me drag this image over here because i want this image over here i'll select this click on this image icon upload an image let me upload that file that i have just downloaded okay as you can see here it is so let me select this one white one click on open all right now click on select you can see your image showing up over here. You can adjust the zoom. Okay, so I think we just I can just make it like this. Okay, I think the image got cropped. So what you can do if your image shows something like this, you can click on this uh, setting button first. Let me do it like this. And you can change the size and height. So suppose I want to change the height to something like this. Now as you can see, it is looking better. You can change the size to 100% or whatever you like, okay? All right, so this is how you can do it. Okay, so if you want to increase the size, you can do it from here. Now we have this uh, icon at the bottom, we have everything. Now let's click on this update button. 
now so with this we have completed the home page now if you see over here as i said you earlier let's see these options so suppose you click on this reorder block if you want the top section this top block to come down you can simply make it like this now as you can see this has become the top this has become the bottom so i don't want to do that i just wanted to show you so let me do it back now click on this icon at the bottom let's see how this website looks on a mobile phone so select mobile now as you can see most of the things looks better uh, except for this one because we have changed the header design to transparent this thing is touching at the top so let's add some gap at the top so that we can see the design better so i'll click on this button at the top okay again i'll click on this gear button or the setting button now this is for padding you can simply increase this but it will increase all the padding so i'll uh, select this one and I just want to increase the top padding. So I'll increase the top padding to 100 or maybe to 150. All right, so this is looking better. Now when we scroll down, all, everything is looking just way more better. Okay, everything is adjusted like this. Okay, you can see. Now if you want, you can do some changes in the footer. For example, suppose as I want this logo at the center, I can select this and make it in the center. Okay, that is big one. And maybe I want this uh, icons also at the center. So I'll select this looking awesome. Now let's update this page. Let's again come back to uh, desktop section. Now what I'll do is I'll save this section. Okay, I'll just uh, hard this thing so that I can use this section again and again in different pages that we are going to create now. Okay, so with this we have completed the home page. Let me delete this title. Let's go to the home page. All right, guys, so this is how the home page is looking. Now, if you see there are some problems over here, first of all, it says slash home. We don't want that. We just want the, you know, we don't want that slash home. We are on, on the home page, but it does not say slash home. And when we click on this, we are redirected to some other page, which means that we, this is just a page which is named home, but that is not the home page. So let's fix that. So let's go to dashboard. Now let's go to the settings and click on reading. Now your latest post is, post is selected, select a static page and select home page, click on save changes. Now again, come back over here, click on this button and you'll see this thing, okay? Now we'll fix this line and this thing at the end. First, let's create these two pages which are left, the contact us page. So let's see how the contact us page is looking and let's cut all these things. So this is the contact us page. So let's just click on this, how about this new and click on page to add a new page. Let's give it a title of contact. Let's do the same changes. Let's make it 100% width and header. We want transparent header. We don't want the title and we don't want the footer. Okay, so we'll disable everything. Click on publish. Now let's see how this page looks so we can add this now it's looking better click on this button edit with breezy so first section we have a simple title and this description so let's click on this plus button search for header and let's search something simple so let me select the first one maybe okay because it's a simple one we have a title and some text okay we have a title and text we don't want all these buttons and these things so we can just get rid of all those things okay let's delete everything all right we also don't want anything in the background and we want to change the background color so i'll delete this and let me see the background color so i'll do the same thing right click inspect type in color over here press tab select any color select this thing and click anywhere that you want to see the color copy this color code from here go back to your website replace this color code okay so this is how it is looking you can make it some darker color now this is done let's change this title to about us all right you can change this color to something different if you want let's make it white or black or dark blue maybe any color you want okay now let's do one thing let's increase some padding at top and bottom okay so let me do that okay padding top padding bottom now we need some more padding bottom because we are doing we are going to do some changes over here as you can see we are going to bring this section 
at top okay so as you can see this is actually in the bottom section but this is coming at the top i'll show you how you can create that it's really easy so this is the first section it's done now let's click on this uh, add new block and this time we don't want any block uh, we just want a simple blank block so we'll click on this now this will give you two different columns i just want one column i'll delete delete that thing now i want a form so i'll bring this form and drag it over here okay this is how it is looking at present and this is our font so let's change few things let's make uh, the uh, background uh, the border color darker so i'm selecting the border color black let's change this button first let's do one thing uh, if you see over here uh, everything is looking totally different so form actually is a very small form so let's make the form small let's shrink it so you can select this thing this is for form option select this click on this setting now we need to add some margin at left and right so let this is the right margin let's increase this let's make 100 let's also make the uh, le uh, left margin as 100 so left and right margin are 100 so let's add this thing and let's bring it up so let me select this uh, column setting let's click on this cure icon more settings and let's do some settings over here so if you see we have this margins over here now i want to bring it up so what i'll do i'll type in 250 margin but as you can see when i type 250 margin it is actually uh, making some uh, gap over here but i actually want to delete this gap okay so what i'll do i'll put a minus sign before 250 and as you can see this will bring this section at the top so that is what we want okay so as i said you earlier we i just wanted to show you create one tutorial and i wanted to add as many things as possible so that's why i am showing you some extra stuff that's why i'm showing you some advanced stuff as well because we have uh, seen all the basic stuffs like icons, the fonts, uh, we have seen buttons and all those things. Now I just wanted to show you some extra stuff as well. Okay, so this is looking better now because we have this thing. Let's change the background color to white. So again, select this thing, go to colors. Let's make it white. Now as you can see, we have the background color as white. Now let's add some padding at top and bottom so that it looks better. So go to settings more settings because at top we don't have any padding at all so let me add maybe 70 pixels top okay and 70 pixels bottom padding now we have some padding at top and bottom now let's make this thing circular as you can see we have this corner circular and we also have this shadow so let's add those things now here we have corners i'll select this i'll i'll type in maybe 20 okay so we can see it's now circular rounded now we have shadow over here at the bottom so i'll select this i'll increase this a bit to maybe 40 okay so i'll uh, do it like this so this is how it is looking now let us change the uh let us make this column smaller okay so we'll add some margin again so we'll select this click on this gear icon more settings and let's add some margin left and right so i'm adding 150 to the right and maybe 100 to the left okay now as you can see this is looking exactly like the demo website okay so this is how it is done and this looks amazing now let me do one thing let me add these uh, sections now so what i can do is i can click on this plus button again click on a blank uh, block and we have these two columns over here now if you see at the top first we have this title so i'll first have to add this title so i'll click on add element bring this title at the top okay so i'll simply change the title and i'll make it h1 so that all these the settings takes place let's make it center align let's change the color to this one okay this one looking better now let's add these things let me show you how you can add these things so i am using elements so as i said to you again i'm saying you i have shown you how to use blocks i have shown you how to do all these buttons settings and all those settings we have seen some advanced stuff now that's why i wanted to cover some elements as well now we have added this uh, using element this title now let me show you how you can add 
icons using elements okay so we have these icons and before that what i want you to do is because we have icon and we have text so we will have to add two different columns inside this okay so i'll first click on add element and i'll select this row okay so we'll add a row inside this okay and this row will add two different columns okay now in the left column we want an icon so i'll select this icon over here okay i'll just bring it and drag it over here and i want this phone icon so i'll select this go to icon change this to phone icon and you can select any phone icon you have so many different ones i want this one simple one you can change this size to whatever you like i think 32 is looking better now let's make this thing smaller all right looking better and in this we have a simple text in the right column so we select this we bring this text over here we paste our text whatever you like okay so i want this phone and the phone is a uh, bold this text is bold so i'll select this and click on this b it will make it bold okay so this is how it is looking now let us add one more column uh, one more row okay and let's add these two things email and time so there are two ways of doing it first is the old way and this uh, second one is the new way i'll show you both the one the old way is that you again add a new row okay then again add a call and then again add a icon text and so on but i'll delete this thing and i'll simply copy this row two times so just we just have to change it we don't have to do any settings again okay so now i'll search for mail email you can select any icon you want you can change the text okay so let's change this text let's make it bold let's select the third one and it's time so i'll select the time icon let's search for this one or maybe the clock icon i have so many different things in time so select this one and let's change the text to this all right okay guys so this is how it is done okay now we we want to add some text over here so this is just some simple text so we can add this element text element over here just add whatever text you like so this is just some simple text nothing um, more fancy expensive anything like that okay so this is looking amazing click on update and after that we have a simple map over here which is really easy to do so i'll select this add a new block and select this one then I'll delete all these things. I'll delete, I, I, we don't have to delete this. We simply click on this thing and we can select background and let's add a map in the background, okay? And let me add Mumbai over here, okay? You can control the zoom. If you want to zoom out a bit, you can select 10, 11, something like this. If you want to zoom in, you can select 15, 16, okay, something like this. If you want to uh, put in the exact address, you can put in your exact address and it will show up over here, okay. Now let us add, let us increase the size of the map. So let's make it something like this. And at the bottom, we have this same footer. So we don't have to create it again. We simply click on this plus button, click on this save section. We have this footer saved, click on this plus. We have this footer section over here. Let's click on update. Now with this, we have simply created our beautiful contact us page. Okay, it is loading, it is getting updated. Now again, let me do one thing. Let me change the page template uh, from breezy to default so that we can see the header at the top. So let's click on this. Let's change the template to default. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have a beautiful section now. Now let me add these sections. Let me save these sections as well. Okay, because I need these sections. So I'll select this, I'll save it. Let me save this section. Okay, this section is saved. Let me save this section as well. Okay, now I'll show you why I'm saving this because I want to save some time. So I'm saving this section as well. And after that, okay, rest everything is fine. Now let's see the about us page. 
Now this is our about us page. Let's see how to create this page. I think we should save this section as well. Okay. Save this section as well. Uh, it will be useful over here. Okay. Now let's cut this thing. Let's go to our website. Okay. Now again, let's hover this new and click on page. Let's give it a title of about us. And again, do the same settings, make it hundred percent full width, change the header to transparent. Here it is. Okay. We don't want any title and no footer. Let's click on publish. Let's view this page in a new tab. Okay. Let's click on edit with Brizzy. Everything looks fine over here. So first click on this plus button, go to save section and let's start creating everything one by one. So we just want the top section. I'll select this. And with this, we have the top section so easily instead of this, actually I just changed uh, that was okay. Why well, thing we have named the uh, uh, contact us at the, uh, as the about us, whatever it is. Okay. So let me make it contact us. Okay. I'm just doing the opposite way. Okay. So we have this section. Then again, we do the same thing. We click on this plus go to save and select the second section. All right, guys, now let's add these things in the middle. Okay. So we have this section, we have this section and let's add these things. Okay. These two, uh, these three things. So again, this is some advanced thing, but you'll learn a lot over here. So let's click on this plus button and let's click on this, add a new blank block. So we have two columns over here. Let's click on, let's copy this column so that we have three. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have three columns. Now inside each column, we want a row. Okay. So get this row inside a column. And you know, in that row, we just want one column. As you can see, when you install a row, when you get a row, you get two columns. So I'll just want to delete this. I just want one single row. Okay. Now, if you see over here, we have an icon text, then text. So let's get a uh, icon first. So icon, then text, then again text. Okay. Now let's change this icon to the icon that we have in the demo website. I think that is groups icon, I guess. Uh, this one. Okay. Let's increase this to 64. Let's change this text to focus groups. Let's copy it from here, paste it, make it center align. Let's change the typography to heading three, not three, I guess heading five. Yeah, heading five. And let's change this text. Okay. Copy it from here, paste it over here. Let's make it center align. Now we have this thing. Now let's add a background color. So I'm adding white and obviously you cannot see anything because uh, the background color is already white. But if I see some different color, as you can see, we do have this uh, background color. So first, let me add some different background color and let's add some paddings over here. So I'll select this settings, go to more settings. Okay, let's add some padding at top. Okay, like this padding at bottom. Okay. This was right. I'm sorry. Okay. Padding at bottom, same padding, or maybe let's add 70 pixels at top 70 at bottom and maybe 20 at left and right. Fine. So this is looking better, I guess. Okay. So let us again, change the color to white background color to white. Now let me bring this section uh, at top. So I'll simply select this, select this gear icon, more settings, and we do the same thing again. We go to margin at top, we type in 250, then go and put in a minus sign. And we have something like this. Okay. So let me add shadow to this one. So I'll select this more settings and I'll add a shadow. Okay. Like this, let's make it, make the corners circular. So let me add 20. All right. So this is how it is looking. Now what I'll do is I'll simply copy this 
column uh, two times and I'll delete these empty columns. Now you can change this icon and all those things from here. Now everything is easy. Okay. So we have these things and we want to type our story over here. So I'll type in our story and I don't want these things over here. So I'll simply delete it and we just want some simple text. So I'll copy it from here, bring it over here so that we have some simple text over here. Then at the bottom, we have this section, meet our team. So click on this add new block team section. And this is the one that we have used. Select this one. Okay. So this is how it is looking. Now, if you want to change this person's image, you can click on this, select this image and you can delete it, put in your own image, whatever you like. So maybe let's put this one. Click on this select. Now, as you can see, images change. If you want to change the name, really easy to do it. Okay. You can change this social icons. Okay. From here, if you want to change the link, go to here, put in the social icon link to all those things. Okay. So this is the our member section. And again, at the bottom, we want the footer. So I'll go to saved section. This is the footer. All right. Now click on update. So with this, we have also completed the third page. Now let's delete everything. Let's go back to the home page. Okay, guys. So with this, we have completed the entire website, but there are a few things left over here. Uh, we want to see how we can change the logo, how we can remove this uh, line, how we can put this menu and delete this white uh, thing that you see at the top. So first let's create a menu so you can hover this and you'll see this menu. Open this link in a new tab. You can name it anything. I'm just naming it main menu. Click on create menu. You'll see all your pages over here. So I have all my pages. You can, you know, just align it according to whatever you like and make sure to tick mark this main. Okay. Which is at the bottom. Click on save menu. Come over here. Let's refresh this page. Now we have this menu, but it is looking very bad here. It is looking amazing in the demo website. So let's see how we can do all this remaining settings. So click on customize. Okay, guys. So first of all, uh, let us see how we can get started. First of all, we don't want this top section. So that is a top bar. So let's get rid of that. So select this top bar, go to general and just disable this. So just untick this thing, enable top bar, just untick it and you will get rid of that. Now come back. Now let's see the settings related to this header. So click on header logo. Let's select and upload our logo from here. Let me put in this logo that we have created. Select this, click on open, select it, click on select. Okay. You can just do it or you can simply skip cropping you will see your logo over here. Now this is looking quite big. I'll show you how you can fix that. So don't worry. Here we have max width. You can increase or decrease it and you can see for yourself, whatever you like. For example, I think 150 is looking better. So you can set this to 150. Click on publish, come back. Now let's see how we can get rid of this uh, line or the border which we have over here. So click on general settings and untick this header border bottom and you'll see that that thing has disappeared. Now let's change this, uh, I, uh, this font. Let's change the font of the main menu. So you go to typography and select main menu. Let's change the font family to Montserrat. Okay. Now as you can see the font family is changed. Let's increase the size by default. It is 13. Let's make it maybe 18. As you can see, looking better, you can increase the line letter spacing. Okay. I'll make it one. You can change some more things. For example, font style. So normal italic, uh, I want to make everything bold. So I'll select this thing looking better. And if you want to change the color, you go back and you go to header menu and you will see this, uh, things over here. So link color. So as you can see here, it is, uh, the color is around, it's like, you know, dark blue. And when you hover this, it turns white. 
So link color should be dark blue, something like this, or maybe some darker shade like this. And when you hover over this, it should turn white. So let's select hover white. Now, as you can see, we have the same effect. Now click on publish and cancel this thing. Okay guys, so with this, we have completed the entire tutorial. Now after this, what should you do? First of all, let me go to YouTube. You can go to YouTube, you will find my channel. You'll see many more videos. So basically related to this theme, uh, this uh, theme which we have used Ocean WP, you can type in Nayar Sheikh on YouTube and Ocean WP so that you can get, uh, you'll see this button, uh, this video which is around 40 minutes long video. In this video, I have explained a lot about this free theme. So you'll get a lot of customization options, how you can change many things with this one okay if you want to learn how to create an e-commerce website for free again you don't you just have to type the same thing Nayashik ocean wp and you will see this video how to create an e-commerce website with wordpress free okay so i have used free theme free page builder everything to create this website okay you can see it it's amazing you can create this website for sure now i have a great announcement now this is the first video i'm announcing it on I will be starting a new series and I'll maybe name it what after creating the website. So basically in that series, I'll cover, you know, many times people ask me, man, I have created a website. What after this? How should I rank my website higher in Google? How should I make my website faster? My website is loading very slow. How should I fix that? I have some security problem in my website. How should I fix that? And all those things. Okay. So if you have any questions, if you want to know, if you want, uh, uh, if you want some you know, to learn something new, you can leave your comments, your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll consider that. Okay. So thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon and make sure to subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up to the, uh, to this video. If it helps you, if you think it is good, you can share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter. I would really appreciate that. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.